Congress may have avoided a government shutdown, but the fallout on Capitol Hill has only just begun. Washington, D.C. correspondent Raquel Martin has the latest details. Saturday, lawmakers passed a plan to keep the government open, but only for another 45 days. And already we're seeing Democrats and Republicans at odds over how to fund the government beyond that. President Joe Biden and Democrats are taking a victory lap. After Congress managed to pass a bipartisan plan to keep the government open Saturday night. It's good news for the American people. But another spending fight looms ahead. The short-term deal only funds the government for 45 days. President Biden is calling on Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy to ensure this time billions in Ukraine aid makes the cut. Overwhelming number of Republicans and Democrats in both the House and the Senate who support Ukraine. Let's vote on it. Stop playing games. But on Face the Nation, McCarthy says the only way that's happening is if Democrats agree to bolster border security. That includes resuming construction of the border wall and reforming the nation's asylum laws. We're going to make sure that the weapons are provided for Ukraine, but they're not going to get some big package if the border is not secure. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says he supports linking the two issues. But with a growing number of House Republicans opposing Ukraine aid... I'm not worried about the next six weeks. I'm worried about next year. The future is also uncertain for Speaker Kevin McCarthy after passing the short-term bill with Democrat support. Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates is vowing to try and remove McCarthy from his post. I think we need to move on with new leadership that can be trustworthy. McCarthy insists Gates' plan will fall flat. Bring it on, let's get over with it, and let's start governing. Gates is promising to file a motion to remove McCarthy this week. Right now, at least one other Republican says they will support that. Meanwhile, Democrats say they're staying out of it. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you. Illinois Congressman Mike Quigley was the only Democrat to vote no yesterday. This morning, he told WGN it's because the measure didn't include funding for Ukraine. We took Ukraine funding out to continue to function. It, it sent a loud and clear message, not just to Putin in Beijing and to Zelensky, but to our allies. It was a bad day. Quigley, who serves as the co-chair of the Congressional Ukraine Caucus, says he's confident Ukraine funding will be part of the long-term spending bill. He didn't say if he'd vote no again if it doesn't. Meanwhile, Ukraine officials today downplayed the uncertainty over the funding, saying they're confident the U.S. would continue to support its war with Russia.